Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today it's raining down here in South Jersey. Uh, it's nice and warm, 68 degrees, which is basically Mother's Nature's way of giving us the middle finger. Uh, 65 degrees in the end of February is unheard of. It's usually in the low 30s. Anyway, enough about Mother Nature and her crackhead ways. Guys, before I get started in the video, do me a favor, go ahead and obliterate the subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently, boop, the notification bell. And of course, when we're done, check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. Uh, today we're going to talk about something I've gotten a couple questions on recently. I don't know why, but five or six people have asked questions about the plant I have in my fish tank that grows outside the fish tank. Like this. And that plant is called Pothos. You can see it right here. It also goes by the name of uh, Devil's Ivy or Devil's... Uh, I can't remember. Devil's Ivy, Golden Ivy. Um, quick note about Pothos. It is considered toxic to dogs and cats. So if you are going to follow my advice and use it in your fish tanks, make sure it's nowhere near where your dogs and cats can, can reach. Um, we don't want anything happening to your furry pets. Anyway, uh, pothos. So I use pothos in a lot of my tanks. Here's what it looks like in uh, my little betta jar. I'll show you the betta jar. 32 ounces of pure bliss for my betta, which doesn't have a name. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what we should name him. And for all you betta people that are like, oh my God, it's only 32 ounces of water. You're going to kill it. No, I'm not. As long as you change water and have good filtration, he's fine. Only filtration here is a pothos. How does that work? Let's talk about it. <clears throat> so, quick lesson on the cycle if you don't know. Uh, fish pee and poop that creates ammonia. One bacteria takes the ammonia and converts it into nitrite. Both ammonia and nitrite, toxic to fish in even low quantities. We're talking 0.25 parts per million, start to see some effects. That nitrite is then uh, converted to by another bacteria to nitrate. Now nitrate is not toxic in low quantities. Even up to 40, 80 parts per million, not deadly. Now some people are gonna say 40 parts per million, that's, that's too high, you must change your water. And that could be if that's what works for you. Um, 80 parts per million, a lot of people say start. you'll start to see effects. I'm just saying there's no definitive proof of what level of nitrate is harmful to fish. There is for ammonia and nitrite, at least that I found on the interwebs. If you know something different, let me know politely in the comments below and I'll be happy to revisit this. At any rate, Pothos filter takes care of nitrate. How does it do that? It sucks it all out of the water and eats it and uses it as food and that's why you see in this little pothos plant this is the plant that started was this this leaf and a little tiny maybe this much of a stem right but you can see all the shoots the white shoots coming off here and here and there's another one here just trying to get to the water to get that delicious nitrate to grow big and strong like me I don't know about strong but big for sure anyway um, I learned about pothos from a uh, YouTuber that I used to follow, one of the first ones I watched. Um, I don't really watch him anymore. He considers himself royalty, and I'm not cool with that, so I don't watch him anymore. Anyway, I have pothos in a couple different tanks. Um, I use it originally because I just I saw other big YouTubers do it, and I thought that's what was done. Now, <clears throat> let me show you in a minute how I keep it in my tank, but for you guys, you can put it in hang on back filters or just hang it in the tank like I have it. But if you have a tank that uh, you might be fighting nitrate issues with, uh, it's, it's easy, it's cheap. All right, guys, let me show you how I put it in the tank and then uh, we'll talk some more about Pothos, stand by. All right, fishy folks, you can see this is one of my mutt guppy tanks, and I have this pothos plant hanging. And uh, I've cut this thing probably three or four times. It's been in this tank, my guess is a little more than two years. 
You can see the root structure growing here. It's quite, um, quite dense in there. But all I do is I hang it out the side. That's it, I don't clip it or anything. You can certainly take a hang on back filter and and uh, you know put it, stuff it in here where the the um, sponges or the media goes. Uh, you know you might have to have the lid the lid ajar a little bit. Um, but it's up to you depending on what kind of filter you have. Hey, there's one of the big cribs. Pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, uh, where else do I have pothos? Oh, I have pothos hanging out in uh, Chewy's tank. Uh, you can see the root structure here and how big it is. Sorry about the camera holding with my left hand. Um, not really growing uh, down here as much, but you can see all this new growth on top. And basically what the pothos does, like I said, is it sucks the nitrate out. So um, the reason why we change water, as most of you know, is to get rid of nitrate. Um, there are some other reasons, but that's pretty much the main reason uh, if you're lazy like me and don't want to do so many water changes, throw some pothos in your tank. Now, the other thing about nitrogen, or nitrates I should say, is really any plants like this java moss in here uh, is going to use the nitrates as food and grow. So, I'm not saying this definitively or anything, but in my um my limited research on the subject, I just can't get over how much fry, how many fry are in there. Anyway, my, my limited research on this subject in my fish room is uh, if your java moss isn't growing that well, your tank's too clean. I know. You, you'd be saying like, oh, so your, your tank is disgusting. How can your fish live in sewage water? Well, it's because that's how they live in the real life, in the real world. But anyway... Uh, maybe change your water a little less. Of course, you shouldn't just do that all willy-nilly. You should definitely have some sort of plan. Check your water parameters if you do that kind of stuff. As you know, I don't. I'm willing to bet, though, in these tanks with all this, uh, all these fish in there and all those plants, there's little to no nitrate. In fact, let's test that out. All right, I wasn't ready for this, so... I have these test strips, got them at supercichlids.com. They're Aqua Vita by Aquarium Munster. I used to use the Tetra test strips, but uh, they've since expired since I don't really test my water. And Martin from Super Cichlids had these at, a, at the uh, Keystone Clash. And he's like, here. And he threw them onto me and said, try it. All right, so basically test strip procedure. Dip it in the water. Take it out. Wait a minute. So we'll wait. While we're talking about that, um, as I was saying before, pretty much any live plant will use the nitrate. Um, I like java moss, obviously, for the reasons of uh, raising guppies, but you know, anything that's a water feeder will definitely take the nitrate. Even other root feeders will take it as well. You can see I have some pothos in that plant while we're waiting for that thing to, uh, in this tank right here, the Dumbo, the rainbow Dumbos. Rainbow Dragon Dumbo Mosaics. Uh, and, you know, I just put it in tanks when I remember. Really, there's no school or thought. All right, fishy folks, let's check the nitrate. So the first one, it's a very light purple. Check it against the chart. Uh, looks like 10 parts per million. Hopefully you can see that. So all those fish... All the overfeeding I do, 10 part per million nitrate. Now I do 10% water changes a day, 10%, that's not a lot. Um, and so that's, you know, the small water changes I do and the, the java moss helps reduce the nitrate. Pretty simple, right? All right, let me show you some more pothos plant I have in the back. Uh, I'm gonna go back there, you know, just come with me. We, we don't like to edit here at Michael's Fish Room. Going behind the scenes, a little bit of a disaster as always. So you can see this ginormous pothos plant in this tank. Now, I realized yesterday, there's no fish in this tank, which means this, this plant isn't getting hardly any food. So I kind of have to move it. Uh, but for the purpose of today's video, I just want to show you how long it is. Comes down here, 
thumbs down here. Still going, still going. And look how healthy these leaves look, right? So, uh, and then we have in the same tank, I didn't realize I had uh, one plant that has two shoots coming off, ginormous ones like this. Comes down here, comes down here, comes down here, all the way down there on the floor, right? Then of course there's that one over there, which I showed you from the front, but that's the uh, the pothos plant. There's some albino bristle nose plecos, and uh, here's the back of the mutt guppy tanks, and uh, there's some more albino bristle nose plecos. All right, let's let's come out to the front. Hey, do me a favor, stand by. All right, fishy folks, that does it for today's video on pothos plant, also called devil's ivy. You can buy it at Home Depot, Lowe's, any garden center, probably Walmart. Uh, what I did is I just bought a big house plant uh, tub of it. It was like 18 bucks, 15 bucks or something. And uh, I just, I got rid of the dirt and I broke up the root system into smaller plants. Boom, put it in the tank. And that's it. And you just let it go. The reason it's called Devil's Ivy is because it's almost impossible to kill. Just saying. Uh, guys, if you have any questions about pothos, also remember, toxic to dogs and cats. But if you have any other questions or comments, let me know uh, below or shoot me an email. And don't forget, let me know what I should name my betta fish. Have a great day. Guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about something that I've gotten some questions about recently, pothos plant. Uh, let's find out what pothos is also called. It's Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. It's raining here down in South Jersey today. It's going to be really nice and warm, but rain, Mother Nature, is basically giving us the middle finger. Anyway, guys, before we get started with getting into this video, do me a favor. Go ahead and obliterate that notification. No. Um, I used to use the Tetra Tesla strip. Wow.